Hi guys, welcome to javainterviewquestions.com. Today we'll write a, one of the Java lab program to find some average and multiplication of n numbers using user input. Write a program to find some average and multiplication of n numbers using user input. Okay. Uh, for that, I have already written a class and I'll explain you what I'm doing. So first, in order to perform the some multiplication and division of input of n numbers what we need to do we need to take user input so take user input from command line by using scanners sc equal to new scanner of system.n so by using by reading the value from sc we can get the value what we input from the command line and take a one take one choice variable why i'm taking choice variable because based on the input from the user i need to perform that operation so suppose if uh, I am taking these three as uh, inputs, sum, average and multiplication. Okay, these are the available options. So if we you enter your choice as one, I'll perform sum. If I enter uh, your option as two, I'll perform average. Okay, so that is the reason I'm taking one choice variable. Okay, now what I'll do is system dot out dot printl and enter your choice. So whenever when I enter choice. So it will take the input from the command line. Suppose if I take if I enter one in the command line, choice will contain one. If I enter two in the command line, choice will contain two. If I enter three in the multi command line, choice will contain three. Right. Next, system dot out dot printl and enter numbers to perform operation. First, I'll take choice. Okay, from the command line, and next I'll take the numbers in order to perform operation. Okay, I am reading all the values first. I am creating one more scanner object, scanner sc1 equal to new scanner of system dot in and uh, I am calling sc1 dot next. That means whatever the values that are given in the command line, it will come as string input numbers. Okay. So first I will uh, enter numbers. Okay. And I am splitting the numbers by using comma. That means we need to give the numbers in the command line by separating with comma enter numbers separate with comma okay so whatever the values we get in the input numbers it will be a complete string so whatever the values we give in the command line that will be stored in this input number string okay so now what i am doing is i need to get the individual numbers why? Because here I will get a complete string, comma separated. Okay. So I will split that comma separated string and which will give you the string numbers array. Okay. String numbers array. So now what I am doing is I am reading each value from that numbers array and I am performing sum equal to sum plus integer dot parse int of numbers of i. So I am taking each values from the <coughs> string and adding it to the sum. Initially sum will be zero. So after reading the first value, sum will be sum plus first value. After reading value, second value, sum equal to sum plus first plus second. Why I am taking integer dot parse int? Because whatever the values we are reading from this numbers array, it is string. So we need to convert string to number. So that is the reason we are using integer dot parse int. <clears throat> okay, now switch. If we enter choice as one, we can directly print sum. Why? Because we are performing sum in the above operation. I mean above itself. And if you want to perform average. So average is nothing but sum by numbers dot length. Okay. Sum is what anyhow we have calculated the input of sum of all numbers and we are storing in the sum. So sum will be this sum by numbers dot length. So how many how many values we enter from the command line those values will get here numbers dot length. And third one is what multiplication. So multiplication, we have taken a variable called int multiplication equals to one. Okay. Int multiplication equals to one. So multiplication will be multiplication star integer dot parse int of string. That means we are multiplying each value which is there in the numbers array and finally we are printing mult. Okay. So now what we'll do is first I'll demo the program, then I'll debug and explain you once again that program. First run as Java application. So enter your choice. 
So first I want to perform one. So enter number separate with comma to perform operation. So I am entering one comma two comma three. So sum is six. Now now once again run the program and check the next operation. What is the next operation? Average. So enter choice two. So enter numbers separated with comma to perform operations. So one comma two comma three. So average should be what? One plus two three plus three six six by three two should be the average. Let's see whether we are getting average equals to two or not. Average is two. Perfect. Now let's run once again this program. Now enter your choice. Three. Okay. Enter the numbers. One comma two comma three. So the multiplication value should be six. So multiplication is six. So just write here multiplication is equal to. Okay. So hope you guys understand this program. Let me debug this program and show you how it is working. Now I am running the program. So till here it is just sys out. So I didn't keep the breakpoint there. Sum average multiplication. Okay. Just we are printing the menu. Now enter your choice. Now I am entering. One. So choice will be what? One. Now what I need to do? This is just simple sys out. So it will print enter number separate with comma. So now what I need to do? I need to enter numbers. One comma two comma three. Okay. So now what this input numbers will contain? What this input numbers will contain? One comma, two comma, three. Okay, so this will be complete string. This string is string contains one comma, two comma, three. But I need to split into individual values. One, two, three. So in order to do that, I am using input numbers dot split. Now, now we got numbers array. So whatever the values we are giving. So one, two, three are the values. So in order to perform the operation, so as a as a given one, it should perform sum. Okay, sum equal to sum plus integer. So initially sum will be zero. Now zero plus one, zero plus two, zero plus three. Now sum we got as six. So it takes each value from that numbers array and add it to the sum. Now Take switch choice one. So sum is six. Since switch choice is one, this case statement will execute, and this will get. This will come out of this switch statement once this case is executed. Sum is six. So hope you guys understand this video. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my videos.